things have really slowed down on the build. It's winter, and since we moved in, the current state of things have become our new normal. This is the trap of building a house while living in it. Things get set aside from their day. What was once important, all of a sudden has been put on the back burner and replaced with board games, going on walks, or hanging out with the animals. The urgency to complete the house seems to be on hold at the moment as we settle in a little more and more each day. So knobs are done, the upper cabinets are done, lower cabinets are done, lower, upper cabinets do have stuff in them, lower cabinets do not. We do not have countertops yet. I do have, you can see under all the coconut oil there. That is a folding table and <laughs> I've just found scraps that I've been putting on there. Um, finally catching up on making soap and for markets and things. But this, I haven't shown you the, the worst of it. It's, it's driving me crazy. So this is what, uh, it's a mess. So this is what we're looking at right now. This is my goal for this week to get this god awful mess cleaned up, get everything sorted. Um, so that'll be really nice to get that done. This room is as done as it's going to get right now. I've been working on getting everything sorted, got those shelves moved over there, got the countertops and everything cleared off, and the drawers have things in them. I had to keep putting things in, taking out, putting things in, taking it out. I know this room will change quite a bit more, especially once we get to the point of this wall over here. I did get on those white supports, I put in the, excuse me, the white shelves, I got those supports in so there's no sagging anymore. This side will not change for a while because we need to get the dining room done. We haven't even done the foundation for that yet. So when that happens, that room's done, the dining room table will be taken out. This whole wall will have shelves, countertop, um, and then well, storage below the, the countertop and then storage above. So everything underneath will go on that. And of course, we'll probably move stuff around again. One more thing, this rug, isn't that pretty? I actually made this as a hallway rug. I made it out of flannel, so it's nice and cushy. But this is a summer winter pattern. Let me flip it over. So the opposite side, you can see the squares are white and the frame around it's blue, where on the side that's up right now, the frame around it is white and then those squares are all blue. But I'm super excited that we're to this point and I can use a space because I need to get to making stuff. I know it looks like I have a bunch of soaps over there, but once the shows and farmer's markets start, I've got to get it done as soon as I can. Freaking the goats out. Here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Try to figure out what the heck you're doing. Yeah. I was not ready. <laughs> what are you doing? 
Hopper. Hopper. Hey. Somebody joined. Young pepper. Hmm? Last summer, Tim and I ordered or purchased a quarter beef from a local farmer. And then just in December, some friends of ours who have um, livestock, they contacted us they had an extra hog that they wanted to get processed. So we went ahead and went that route. It just got delivered today. This is everything that we got. It is, it, it was originally about 234 pounds so that's what they call the hanging weight and then you get between 60 to 65 percent of that in actual consumable product and meat so i went ahead and i went through everything i wrote it down i was going to tell you guys what i got out of that the bags right there that is fat and that is very very clean looking i'm going to render that down to use for lard so we can use it in baking also soap making here we have um ham steaks and we did opt to go ahead and have some things smoked and cured so there's 19 of those and those are you can see the size those are really big there's 12 packages of bacon that's a good size and we went with kind of a medium a medium cut there's three packages of bacon ends we have pork shoulders over there that's a good size so that would be a good size um, crock pot you need to use there's eight of those pork chops in that box 12 of those there's two spare ribs mild sausage we want that way they have different different um, flavors or strengths you can get 22 packages of sausage 17 packages of ground pork and then hickory smoked shanks those are in there we got three of those you can also get um those things called um bratwurst is that what they're called yeah you can also order those but we don't eat those so there's different options depending on where you get things processed so this is what we got we're excited to try it out sydney is super excited she just Every day, what's for dinner? And then it's dinner time and she asks what's for dinner the next day. So I need to, obviously this is all not going to fit in here because I still have beef in here. So I need to move some things around, put some things that will consume sooner in the fridge, excuse me, the freezer in the house, um, render down the fat, and then we can have some really awesome meals. So in here I have the fat that came from the hog that we got and I want to show it to you. So this is all the fat that came from that hog and I have my big roaster out, but look how clean that is. So what, make sure if you're wanting to do this, if you have a processor or something, make sure that they do a really good job and they're really clean with how they do it. So this is going to come out with a really nice, pretty white lard that I can use not only in baking, but also in the soap making. So this is probably going to take me a couple days. We do have a video out that I did a while ago on how to render lard. It is a really easy process, either with doing this or really animal fat, any animal fat that you use. It just takes some time because you want to make sure that you're cooking it at a low temperature and you're going really slow. So we have uh, two, we have two sunny days, right Tim? We have a couple sunny days and we need that solar power so I can get this going because it's going to go for about two days to get this much done and I'm using my big roaster to do it instead of a crock pot.
ช่ยThem some feed so they're all nice and happy now. Uh, we discovered that hay is a lot cheaper than grain so we've kind of cut cut back on the uh, grain that we give them and uh, we're giving them more hay and alfalfa especially during the winter time and they seem to prefer that better almost. Um, one thing I do that, that netting is a real pain in the butt so one thing we got to do here in the spring is right on the other side uh, you can see that metal can there, that's where our, our hay and stuff is being stored right now. So probably just off to the left of that, I'm going to build a, a, a hay chute. And we can just drop it right in there and um, take an E out of it. You can see this is already getting torn up. You know, they've pulled on it and yanked on it. And they've even sat here and played with it, they'll ram it and stuff like that. And uh, they only got about, I don't know, a quarter of the strings left holding it up. So it's uh, about had its it's day and it's uh, not even a year old so I'm trying to try something new when we discovered the chickens who obviously got mad and knocked their feeding thing down there is we only give them food um, in the evening so they're locked out all day long uh, we open the door in the morning they all run outside and they're pretty much free range until the sun goes down they come back in on their own and then we come through and um, make sure they're feed bins full which is completely empty right now but they will um, rush in to get this it makes it really easy to put them away in the evening so it's got to fill these up and they'll be ready to go for another night I wanted to show you real quick, um, when we dig up all the rock around here, this is what comes up. It's just all sparkly and, you know, assuming this was, of course, probably a glacier push or something 100,000 years ago. But it's just full of um, some pretty cool stuff, some really neat fossils and I'm assuming this is probably coral. We got some really cool pieces here I really like to cut. Uh, some of these smooth and use them in the house somewhere, maybe a backsplash or something like that, but This is everywhere every time I dig a hole I want to show you some things I've been working on. This has been a very busy weekend Have the roaster going over there finish rendering the lard from that hog So I ended up with about 15 pounds of lard from that. That was yesterday. It was a gorgeous day um, Got the fifth journey fitness page set up and I got two exercise videos recorded on there so you'll have to head over to the fit journey fitness to see all the videos over there the soap challenge club i hadn't really said anything about that but i decided to join i've been admiring them for a long time and i did join that so i also made soap dough yesterday so busy busy day there's some different colors i needed to add more on that you can see those designs on the other fit journey page the handmade one this is a soap dough that i already made it's Kind of like working with um, not super friendly polymer clay. So it's kind of the idea of you you can create designs and things like that with soap dough. But the biggest thing I wanted to share, which was a huge accomplishment, was this soap right there. See that little pretty one in the middle? All these soaps that I did about 10 batches for the soap challenge. And that one right there, I got third place worldwide competition and I was just absolutely thrilled and what was so neat for me about it is when you are an adult and especially if you have kids and everything else and with me teaching you get to the point where you're doing all of these things for other people for your children you're coaching students you're coaching people you're mentoring people but this was such an amazing thing because I haven't felt this in a long time is this was like a really a big personal win and isn't that so pretty and to have my 
daughter, my oldest daughter, teenager, come up to me with so much joy and happiness and give me a hug and congratulate me. That was just, that was so cool. And it's something that we don't always get as adults. So anyway, that was a big surprise yesterday. So that video making that is on the Fifth Journey page that's called Alice's Afternoon after the Golden Afternoon in Alice in Wonderland. Mm -hmm.